and I'm just going to post the link. Um, this is where you can download the pattern. So um, on my site you can download a pattern which is going to be a dog. Um, there's a couple of different versions of the dog. There's a short one and a long one. So if you want to build along, there's the long one. Um, I'm going to make the short one. So if you guys want to follow along, the steps are the same for the um, both of the versions. It's just one bigger than the other. Um, so I'll start off by taking the pattern. This sort of explains how it joins together. And then you've got the parts. There's two parts to the dog. So there you go. And it's fairly simple. Start out by cutting out the pattern. I'll just lower this so you can see what I'm doing. So we just start by cutting out along the dark black line. Um, you can ignore the rest of it for the moment. Uh, I hope you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. So yeah, just cutting out. I think I might try using a scalpel for this so you guys can see it a bit easier. My scalpel. Hope I can find it. There. Easy to see. So yeah, we just cut along the dark black lines. So I'll talk while I'm doing this. So basically the steps are cut along the black lines and then we're going to cut out the sections marked in a pink um, and then we trace it onto the cardboard and then we cut out the cardboard and then we attach some rods. Well, you might want to join the pieces together too. So we just keep doing this. It can be really um, delicate with the pattern if you like and make sure it's the curves are smoother than mine. I'm just sort of rushing it. It also doesn't matter too much if you don't cut exactly along the lines. It can be a little crude. Okay. So that's the um the piece all cut out. And now we're going to cut out along the pink areas. Um, this you want to be a little bit more careful. So I'm going to make some nice see-through bits. It's actually um, easier to use a scalpel or a box cutter if you're American um, because the smaller bits are harder to cut out with scissors. So 
keep going with the legs. Nice little trick to know is to cut it out really slowly and um, just make sure that you're not ripping the paper as well. Already you can see that it's sort of giving it a nice pattern to the dog. I hope somebody else out there is building along with me because um, it's quite a cute dog. Be nice to see somebody else make it too. Ugh, I'm almost done with this one. I have to make the other half. Yeah, I'm leaving the little dots on the nose for last and I'll show you why in a second so, these little pink dots I'm leaving for last So I've cut out all the bits except for these pink dots and I actually won't do all of them now but I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I just take a sewing pin and I just poke it in the hole like so. I hope you can see that. And then I just wiggle the pin around. and you make a nice little tiny hole that's barely noticeable but um, when you put it against the screen it comes out really well but actually leave those bits to last because we've still got to transfer this to cardboard so I always leave it to later now we've got to cut out the back bit so it's the same routine just cut along the black line and then cut out the pink bit bits rather. <laughs> 